we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. Of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord, though you have been angry with me. Your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation, and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds, proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known through all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud, at the waters of Meribah, I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning, O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. O oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I will subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat, and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Jesus is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he lives forever to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, spirited from sinners higher than heavens. He has no need, as did the high priests, to offer sacrifice day after day. First, for his own sins, and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law 
appoints men subject to weakness to be high priests. But the words of the earth, which was taken after the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The main point of what has been said is this. We have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister of the sanctuary, and of true tabernacle that the Lord, not man, set up. Now, every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Thus, the necessity for this one also to have something to offer. If then he were on earth, he would not be a priest, since there are those who offer gifts according to the law. They are worshipped in a copy and shadow of the heavenly sanctuary. As Moses was warned when he was about to erect the tabernacle, for God says, See that you make everything according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. Now he has obtained so much more excellent a ministry as he is mediator of a better covenant enacted on better promises. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you give me. Burnt offering or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me to do your will. O oh my God, it is my delight. And your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. May all who seek you exalt and be glad in you. And may those who love your salvation say ever, the Lord be glorified. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to life through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed, followed from Galilee and from Judea. Hearing what he was doing, a large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Idumea, from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. He taught his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. He had cured many, and as a result, those who had disease were pressing upon him 
to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga ho sa kanilang lahat at welcome ho dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag. Meron hong isang eksena sa isang pelikula o movie na hindi ko ho nakakalimutan. Yung eksena ay sa loob ho ng isang simbahan sa Europa at sa loob ho ng simbahan ay merong mag-ina. At yung nanay ho ay pinapaliwanag niya sa kanyang anak yung mga paintings sa loob ng simbahan. Sabi ho ng nanay sa kanyang anak, Anak, ito yung painting ng Annunciation. Kung kailan, eh, pumunta yung Angel Gabriel sa mahal na ina. At marami pa ho siyang ipinaliwanag na mga paintings. At napansin nung bata na yung kanilang pinag-uusapan ay tungkol sa reliyon. Although hindi ho sila practicing Catholics. Kaya nagtanong ho yung bata sa kanyang nanay. Tanong nung bata, Nay, naniniwala ka ba sa langit? Do you believe in heaven? Napatigil yung nanay at nag-isip nung isasagot niya sa kanyang anak. At yung sagot ng nanay sa kanyang anak, Let's just say that people will continue to live in the memory of other people. Sabihin na lang natin na yung, yung tao, tayo, ay patuloy na mabubuhay sa alaala ng ibang tao. Hindi niya ho kaagad sinabi na may langit o wala. Sabi niya, let's just say that people will continue to live in the memory of other people. Ngayong umaga ho ay meron ho kong dalawang katanungan sa inyo. Yung unang katanungan ho, kayo rin ho ba ay naniniwala na tayo ay patuloy na mabubuhay sa alaala ng ibang tao? Na yung katabi nyo ho, yung kasama ho nyo rito ngayon na nag-pilgrimage, eh patuloy na mabubuhay sa inyong alaala. Kung ako yung tatatang, tatanungin nyo, ako po'y naniniwala. Bakit ho? Eh, dahil wala na ho yung aming tatay, pumanaw ho yung aming tatay bago man ho ako ma-ordain bilang pare. At yung tatay ko, ang tatay ho namin, eh, buhay na buhay ho sa aking alaala. At bakit ho buhay sa aking alaala? Dahil sa mga magagandang bagay na ipinakita niya ho sa akin. Ayaw niya ako magpare dahil apat ho kaming magkakapatid, pangalawa ho ako at nag-iisang lalaki. At gusto niyo ho, eh, kumuha ko ng ibang korso maliban sa pagpapare at magkaroon ho ng maraming maraming asawa. Hindi, maraming anak. Siguro yun pa yung gusto niya. Pero eh, pinandigan ko yung aking desisyon na magpare. At pumayag din ho naman siya. Bago ho ako umalis para sa seminaryo, ay eh, kinausap niya ho ako. Sabi niya sa akin, inamin niya na ayaw niya na magpare ako. Pero dahil yun ang gusto niya, ah, gusto ko, eh, susuportahan niya. At dahil ho sa, sa sinabi ng aking tatay, ay eh, buhay na buhay ho siya sa aking alaala. Kaya ngayon ho, kapag merong problema o merong pagsubok, pumapasok agad sa isip ko yung aming tatay. Yung good memory na yun na sinasabi niya, Anak, susuportahan kita sa gusto mo kahit ayaw ko. Kaya pag may problema o pagsubok, naalala ko at tila ho'y parang napabatasal ako. Tay, tulong naman. Tay, support naman. Kaya yung tatay ho namin ay patuloy na nabubuhay 
sa aking alaala. At siguro ho, kung meron ako ngayong ganong klaseng karanasan, eh sasangayon din ho kayo na tayo patuloy na mabubuhay sa alaala ng ibang tao. Buhay dahil sa mga magagandang bagay na pinakita sa atin o ginawa ho natin. At pwede pa ho nating ipush yan at masasabi ho natin na binubuhay ho tayo ng mga magagandang alaala. Buhay ho sila at yung mga gandang bagay na ipinakita ho sa atin o ginawa ho natin, binubuhay din ho natin. Binubuhay din po tayo. Sabi nga isang author, si James Matthew Barry, siya ho yung nagsulat ng Peter Pan, isa sa mga paborito ko hong uh, authors. Sabi ni James Matthew Barry, God gave us memories, good memories of the heart and mind in order for us to have a rose garden in December. Binigyan daw tayo ng alaala ng Diyos, magagandang alaala ng isip at puso. Nang sa gayon ay meron ho tayong hardin ng mga rosas sa buwan ng Disyembre. E kung Europe yung po yung setting, ay masasabi ho natin na kabaliktaran. Bakit ho? Sa Europe, kapag buwan ng Disyembre, ay walang kabuhay-buhay ho. Walang kakulay-kulay, walang kainit-init, malamig, at puro yelo na lang ho ang makikita. Walang kabuhay-buhay ang mundo. Ang dilim-dilim ng mundo, ang lamig-lamig ng mundo. Pero sinasabi ni James Matthew Barry na parang magic yung magandang alaala. Yung mga mag- alaala ng magandang bagay na ginagawa natin. Yung magandang alaala na yan ay magbibigay ho sa atin ng kulay, magbibigay ng init, magbibigay ng buhay. Kaya binubuhay din ho tayo ng mga magagandang alaala ng mga magagandang bagay na natatanggap natin at ginagawa ho natin. Kaya magandang katanungan ho, nakakapagod ho ba gumawa ng mabuti? Yung mga bagay-bagay na magaganda na ginagawa natin sa araw-araw, nakakapagod ho ba? Lalong-lalo na ho kung tayo na lang palagi, tayo na lang palaging nauuna at tayo na lang palaging nag-iisa. Tayo na lang palaging nagluluto. Tayo na lang palaging naglalaba. Tayo na lang palaging nagpaplantsa. Tayo na lang palaging naglilinis ng bahay. Tayo na lang palagi umiintindi sa mga pasaway na tao sa bahay natin. Tayo na lang palagi nagpapatawad sa taong nagkakamali sa atin. Nakakapagod ho ba gumawa ng babuti? Kung akong tatanungin niyo, hindi ho. Sabi ko nga, Bubuhayin mo tayo ng magandang alaala. Nung kami seminarista, bago pa lang ako sa seminaryo, hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit gigising ho kami ng maaga. Kagaya ngayon, 5.40 ho, kailangan nandito na sa simbahan. No? Hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit gigising kami ng maaga at magdadasal, magro-rosaryo, at magkakaroon ng misa. Pero nung pari na ho ako, at medyo marami na hong pinagkakaabalahan sa buhay. May mga opisina na ho at may challenges na ho sa opisina. Doon ko lang ho nakita yung value kung bakit namin ginagawa yung isang bagay na yun tuwing umaga. That single act of goodness is enough for me actually to survive the day. Yung magandang bagay ho yun na ginawa ko paggagising sa umaga, Isapat na po yun para buhayin ako sa loob ng araw. Na ang dami ring hinaharap na problema, daming hinaharap na challenges. Kaya ho, sinasuggest ko sa inyo yung mga pilgrims dito. Maliban ho, meron ho tayong inihingi na favor kay Apo Bakit. Eh, magpasalamat din po tayo sa Diyos sa mga magagandang bagay na nagawa ho natin sa kanyang inspirasyon at sa mga magagandang bagay na natanggap ho natin sa kanyang kabutihang loob. And that's, I think, enough for you to survive the day, to survive the year, to survive life. 
Kailan naman ho nakakapagod gumawa ng mabuti? Nakakapagod ho gumawa ng mabuti kapag ito'y hinaluan ho natin ng reklamo. Kapag hinaluan ho natin ng sama ng loob. Ako na lang palagi. Mag-isa na naman ako. Dami kong ginagawang mabuti dito sa bahay pero hindi man lang pinapansin. Hindi man lang sinusuklian. Kapag hinaluan na ho natin ng reklamo at sama ng loob yung mga ganang bagay na ginagawa ho natin, eh talagang mapapagod ho tayo at papatayin ho tayo ng sama ng loob. Sa ating ibanghelo sa araw na ito, narinig ho natin na dinumog ho yung ating Panginoon ng mga tao. Maraming tao na lumapit sa Kanya galing ho sa iba't ibang lugar. Ang dami ho niyang pinagaling na may sakit at may mga pinalaya ho siyang mga demonyo. At narinig ho natin sa Ebanghelyo ng mga nakarang araw, eh nangaral ho siya at box office hit ho ay kanyang turo. Daming pumupunta sa Kanya. At tila parang nakakapagod yung schedule ng ating Panginoon. Pero sa kabila ng lahat, hindi ho nagreklamo ang ating Panginoon. Kahit na ho sa bandang huli na siya'y mag-isa, iniwan ho siya ng kanyang mga alagad habang siya'y nakabayubay o nakapako sa krus, hindi ho nagreklamo yung ating Panginoon. Di ho sumama yung kanyang loob sa kanyang mga tagasunod. Umintindi at nagpatawad ang ating Panginoon. Kaya nga ho, yung ating Panginoon ay buhay na buhay ho sa ating buhay. Dahil sa mga magagandang bagay na ginawa ho niya, na, na ginugunita ho natin hanggang ho sa ating henerasyon. Kaya nga yung Santa Misa, the Holy Mass is actually a memorial of God's love, of God's goodness to us. Ang Misa ay alaala ng kabutihang loob ng ating Panginoon. Kaya ulitin ko yung tanong, kayo po ba, yung unang tanong, kayo po ba ay niniwala na yung tayo, ng tao, tayo, ay patuloy na mababuhay sa alaala ng ibang tao. At ganun din po, bubuhayin tayo ng mga gandang alaala ng mga magandang bagay na ginagawa ho natin. At sana ho, naintindahan na po natin yan at yung sagot natin ay oo. Oh, oh. Opo, Father. At pangalawang tanong, meron pang pangalawang tanong. Yung pangalawang tanong ko, kayo rin ho ba ay naniniwala sa langit? Kung naniniwala ho kayo na patuloy tayong mabubuhay sa alala ng ibang tao, eh, siguro po, maniniwala din po tayo sa langit. Hindi ako theologian, pero para sa akin, yung simpleng description ko ng langit, yung langit para sa akin ay alaala ng Diyos. Kaya di ho sayang yung lahat ng mabubuting bagay na ginagawa ho natin. Kahit hindi pa ho napapansin yan, kahit hindi pa ho yan sinusuplian ng ating kapwa. Di ho sayang no? dahil lahat ng yan ay nakaukit ho sa isip at puso ng Diyos. Kaya yung paalala sa atin, huwag tayong mapagod sa pagawa ng mabuti. Huwag ho nating haluan ng reklamo at sama ng loob yung mga mababuting bagay na ginagawa ho natin. Bubuhayin ho tayo ng mga magagandang alaala. At nakaukit ho lahat ng ginagawa ho nating mabuti. Nakaukit sa ating puso at isip at lalong-lalo na nakaukit sa puso at isip ng Diyos. Huwag ko tayong mapagod sa pagawa ng mabuti. We all stand. My dear sisters and brothers, the Father sends His only Son to heal us. We are confident that He can heal the whole person, body, and soul. So we pray to our Father through His Son. For every intention, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer.
The other church to its leaders may take up with courage the burden of constant confession and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are struck with incurable disease may be strengthened in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may never close our hearts to those in it, but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciling. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who care for the sick may never get tired of caring and treating them with personal attention and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of our country, and for our brothers and ministry, as San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the living, help us to continue the work of Jesus to bless and to heal, so that we can make his gospel truly good news to all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for third goodness we have received the bread we owe for you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for third goodness we have received the wine we owe for you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these miseries. For whenever the memorial of, his, of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for just as through your beloved son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you form it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you therefore we too extol you 
with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. For Osana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May you call it there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family with faith, hope, and love, let us now pray with confidence to our loving Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion. Bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, 
from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat ho sa inyong pakikisa sa ating banal na pagdiriwang dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawad. Mag-ingat po kayo sa inyong pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Now, now we shall have the blessing of the sick and the blessing of the religious articles. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.